Okay, David, I'm sorry. It's all good. How you doing? Busy, huh? A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> right on. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I just made a switch. That's why you got the notice to like my new Facebook page. Nice. Um, because I left Caldwell Banker and I'm now with um, Better Homes and Gardens. Okay, so. let me um, pull up that page. Um, okay, cool. So then um, have you ran any Facebook ads or like what are you doing as far as like trying to promote or market on this new page? So, I mean, right now, I don't really do too many ads or anything. I think I maybe have done maybe three ads in my whole, like, in the last year. I mm -hmm. think I maybe ran three ads um, for listings, mm -hmm. but I don't really, I don't really promote myself that much. I'm, like, old school. Yes. I'm not that tech daddy, so. Mm -hmm. I gotcha. Yeah, for sure. Are you are you looking to promote on social media or are you kind of just fine with with offline and referrals? I like offline and referrals um, personally because again, um, I kind of know those people. Yes, for sure. And it's more concrete. I tried, um, I guess, buying leads per se. Mm -hmm. um, Gosh, I was what, um, fourteen maybe fourteen or fifteen, two thousand fourteen or fifteen, mm -hmm. um, with Zillow, and it just ended up being like a whole bunch of like no end leads. Like, yeah, like, mm -hmm. I think I might have closed maybe like two or three of them, but it was just not really in my best interest. So, um. I haven't really targeted. I mean, you have my interest when you're like, oh yeah, you can have thousands of leads. Um, Cause I work primarily with military. Um, I am a military relocation professional. And gotcha. so Jacksonville, we have um, three bases, I guess here. Mm -hmm. um, technically two, but three um, that they can go to. And um Actually, more than that, because I do sell Georgia, too. I'm not licensed in Georgia, mm -hmm. but most of the people that are stationed at um, Kings Bay, they live in Jacksonville because no state income tax. Gotcha. So. Really cool. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess social media, it's what a lot of what a lot of local business owners try to do is they try to just have some type of presence on, quote unquote, social media. But mm -hmm. as you start to build your, your brand on just social media, the facts, the facts are is that as you, like this personal page, as you take your friend count up and it's the same for every platform, whether it's Instagram, LinkedIn, or Twitter, whatever, as you scale that number from 1,200 to let's just say 2,400 and then 3,200 and 4,000, and the only reason why a person would even do that is because they're building a business. Like that's the only reason. Like if, if it wasn't for you being in business, you'd probably be straight with the 200 people that you actually know. You know what I mean? But as you take this right. number across a thousand, 90 plus percent of your 1200 don't know you and they don't even live in your area. So that's the reality when it comes to social media. And so as mm -hmm. a local business owner starts to post on this page or whether they start to post on this page, 90 plus percent of the people seeing it don't care. And so when it comes to inviting our friends, like the, this 210, it came from you inviting the 1200, but you're doing deals in your backyard and the 210, 90 plus percent of them don't live in your backyard because they're mm -hmm. people like me who are just in, you know, just receiving an invite. will like your page. I'm going to like you to support you, but anytime you post a listing or an open house, it's just, it's just not relevant. And that's why as right. we post, no one's liking it because no one's in the area. You know what I mean? So I guess right. social media that, that so everyone sense. has, has, has just the whole goal or whole idea that we have to be on social media when that, that could not be further than the truth. What a person has to be doing is running Facebook ads if they're looking to build it on social media. So the only reason why you even need this business page is if you're running Facebook ads. If you're not, 
the 210 that like it, they're part of the 1200 over here. So you might as well just post over here and not even worry about a business page. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I guess wh where I'm coming from is, is just speaking to thousands of realtors on this topic. I've been doing this for, for a long time, but I, I come mm -hmm. from mortgages. I, I was a lender for six years, but I, before that I was into marketing. So now all I do is kind of just consult real estate agents on, on the best way to, to approach social media. But that's mm -hmm. for those that are looking to approach it. You know what I mean? If you're, if you're straight with just referrals and what you're doing offline, you know, you can for sure keep, keep doing that. But if, if anything on this page, you, you definitely would want to run an ad targeting your local area. That, okay. That's kind of the, the biggest advice. So anytime you post on this, post it as if you're going to post it and run an ad to your area because that's the okay. only, only way you're going to ever see any type of engagement or any type of ROI on these posts. You know what I mean? So, okay. Yeah. So like, I mean, I got a, a couple of listings coming up. Mm -hmm. So when it says run an ad and I can reach a thousand people and they charge me 35 bucks, like, is that what you're talking about? Yes. But you don't want to, you don't want to buy into that because that, that's simply a boost. You don't want to do it from your cell phone. You don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to click that boost button. What you want to mm. do or what you're going to have to do is simply come to your, your, your page and click on create mm -hmm. and then you can click on add and you're going to set up the ad through your ads manager. And the best way to get here is through an actual computer, not on your cell phone. Oh. So, so this is Facebook's back end. This is the ads manager. So every ad you see on Facebook. So as we're just scrolling through our news feed and we're just kind of seeing what our friends are up to, and then we come across a sponsored ad, this is an ad that was ran through the ads manager through back here. Hmm. So to answer your question, yes, if you have a listing, because here's what every agent is doing. And the reason why I know this, it's not just because I come from marketing or mortgages. In 2016, when I started helping you guys, that's when, it, that's when all this started for me is 2016, I started consulting real estate agents on social media marketing and Facebook advertising. In 2016, I started requesting nothing but real estate agents. So when you look mm. at my friend list right here, 48, mm -hmm. 48, 10, like it's a public list. Like you can look at every single one of my friends. Every single one of them just is a real estate agent. Every single one of them except for one. And you can look at all of them. So that's 4809 that are actual real estate agents. The only wow. one who's not is my wife, which is this one right here, Melina. So she's the <laughs> only one out of 4810 who is not a real estate agent. But the reason why I tell you that is because that started in 2016. I came over here rather than cold calling you guys, rather than door knocking, rather than trying to promote my marketing services any other way, because I didn't want to pitch it that way. I just simply started requesting you guys. And as I started doing that in 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, I don't know about you, but, but if you're in any type of Facebook groups, when you're in a group, it's most likely a group of people on Facebook, a Facebook quote unquote group, it's most likely a group of people in that Facebook group that have an interest in something. So when you're following thousands of people that have a quote unquote interest, you start to see, you know, patterns, you know what people are interested in. But when you follow thousands of people that literally all have the same job, mm -hmm. you start to see different things. And so since 2016, all I've been doing is seeing by the thousands how agents are promoting their business. And I'm here to tell you 99.999% are doing it wrong. And it's not that they're doing it wrong just from the technical standpoint. They're just missing the basics. They're missing the absolute basics. So to answer your mm -hmm. question, what every agent will do, and this is what you're going to end up doing, you're going to take that listing, you're going to post it on your personal page, you're going to put it mm -hmm. on your business page, and again, 99% don't care. And it's not that they don't care disrespectfully. They just don't care because they're not in the area. They're not in the area and we don't know you. And so let's just keep it real. The 1,200 mm -hmm. people, 95 plus percent don't know you. So the same way you're on this call wondering who the hell I am, I'm on this call wondering who Jessica is because I don't know you either. And, the, and that's the majority mm -hmm. of the 1,200. So what every agent is doing by the thousands is posting it here when no one cares, posting it here when no one cares, 
So the absolute best ROI that you can ever see on that listing, if you're going to post it on social media, it's going to be a Facebook ad. So, and, and, and let me show you an example of what everybody does is so everybody will simply take that listing and I'll show you a, a clear example of what everyone's doing. And this is what I, I advise you not to be doing. Everybody will simply take that listing just like this and they'll post it in these Facebook groups, or again, they'll post it on their personal page or business page. And whenever we see it, all this person, Krista, she's in a completely different state. So she's posting, all this is, is throwing spaghetti against the wall. That's all that is. You're hoping someone's going to comment. But again, 99% of people on social media, we all live across the country. So that's why ain't nobody liking it. Ain't nobody commenting because ain't nobody in that area. She's throwing it up to people who are not in the area. What she should have done, and that's what everybody's doing. So everybody, everybody's just posting away, posting away. And then when I click on anything, I come to a page and most likely it's just some random web page where there's absolutely nowhere on here to put in a name and number. So you're trying to capture a lead. You're, you're, you're posting it, not you, but just in general, people are posting it. Mm -hmm. And the moment we click on it, you're taking us to this page over here where there's nowhere to capture the lead. So that's what everybody's doing. And I'm, I'm telling you, everybody's doing it by the thousands, by the thousands. So what you want to do is simply post it. But at the same time, the only people that need to be seeing it is in your area. So wherever this listing is listed, you run a Facebook ad targeting that area. And when we click on it, you, you're bringing us to one page that looks similar to this. So I see your pay, I see your I see your ad. It's a it's a listing. That address is four miles away from me. You're running an ad. I'm seeing it in my newsfeed. I click on it, and you bring me to one page like this. Get instant access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. Simple page. A few bullet points. View all 17 photos now. That's how you capture a lead. It's not mm -hmm. by posting it like this, taking me to a page like this where there's nothing, there's nowhere to capture the lead. So right here, this, this person, Chris, or let's just say it was Krista, she's taking me to a page and giving me all this information before she even asked for my information. So now that I came here, I got all this information. Okay, I'm cool. I'm gone. When she paid for that ad, she paid to, to get me to click. Right. So if you're going to pay to get me to click, take me to a page where you can capture my information. And when you're targeting that directly to your local area, that's where the ROI is at. And so the 20 bucks, the 25 bucks that that would have cost would have been worth mm -hmm. it. You know what I mean? That, that would have been so, worth it. So go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I was just saying. So like, I know one of the ladies here, she kind of has something like that. It's like Jacksonville real estate. So like, can she like post or can you post properties that aren't technically your listing? Oh yeah, for sure. That would be, that'd be a great way to capture leads. You know, just, just running, running, running this as, as, as an ad and it's someone else's listing. I mean, if whoever that listing agent is number one, they ain't going to care. And number two, they'd probably want to go have some of the ad with you. You know what I mean? Like, why not? If I was a listing agent and you hit me up and said, Hey David, I ain't got no listings, but I want to run some ads. Do you have any listings? I'd be like, heck yeah, I got listings. You run it on this one. I'll even go half with you. I mean, that's what I but would do. But she doesn't. That's the thing. She, but she doesn't. She's like listing and maybe I'm wrong. It's like Jacksonville homes, search Jacksonville homes or whatever. And then mm -hmm. when you click it, it lists all these homes in like yeah. orange Park. And I'm like, how can you get around that? How can you market someone else's property when it's not yours? Well, you can you can market it, but again, if you're not if you're not taking them to a landing page to capture the to to capture the lead, then it's it's a waste. You know, it's 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 just a waste. You got to you got to capture the lead. Mm -hmm. So so you. That's can, what I'm saying. So how can she? I don't know. I guess I don't understand that part. As um, far as like what she's doing or as far as the, just the yeah, strategy? Yeah, like the, 
yeah, just a strategy as far as like landing pages and, you know, listing someone else listing that's not yours. Like I would be mad if I found my listing on somebody else's page. Well, like, yeah. I mean, if, if they, if, if you, if that listing agent didn't grant them permission or if they didn't hit them up first, then yeah, I mean, that'd be kind of crazy, you know, but, but at the same time, you're the listing agent. So you have that property under contract. You, you have the agreement. So, I mean, if anyone else wanted to advertise it, why not? I mean, but at the same mm-hmm. time, most, most people wouldn't do that. Most agents wouldn't do that. Yeah. But, but even if, even if you got that person's consent, I don't see how that would be, you know, an issue at all. But that's, if that's, again, that's if you're marketing listings, there's, there's other ways to capture a lead of a potential seller, for example. But my whole, my whole thing is here. My whole thing with all of this, with telling you all this is that this is how everyone's doing it. They're just posting on social media when you absolutely have to run an ad to your local area. So whether it's a listing, whether we're looking for listings, whether we're looking for buyers, whatever, whether we have an open house coming up this weekend, whatever, it Mm -hmm. all comes down to a Facebook ad targeting that area. That's, 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 that's the bottom line. And, And that's what people don't do, you know? So I've spoken to thousands of agents and they all struggle with this one part because they think organic posting is going to do something when, when that's, it's, it's not you know, it's, it's, it's just not. So, you know, but if, if you're, if you're straight with offline and referrals, this might be just, you know, too much for you, you know, overwhelming to, to actually run Facebook ads. But at the end of the day, branding is everything, getting the attention of your local Mm -hmm. area is everything. And and Mm -hmm. you're going to, you're going to have, you know what I mean? You're going to have to do something, whether it's offline, let's say it is offline. We're going to have to either do direct mail. We're going to have to door knock. We're going to have to buy leads. We're going to have to hold events. We're going to have to do open houses. What else can we do to get the attention of our local area? That's, you know, and that's all offline. I'm convinced that offline is dead to a certain extent, unless you, unless you're making a ton of money and you got the money to, to afford it because nowadays mm-hmm. you can't even print flyers for a decent price nowadays. You know what I mean? So everything is, yeah. everything is expensive offline and with everyone in their Each mother. Each mile is like a dollar a week. Yeah. It's not, it's not cheap. And with, Everybody and their mother on Facebook, this is just how we get to them. We run simple ads targeting your farm, you know. That, so how much are the typical ads run? I mean, you, it's all Facebook. Like my whole thing is not to run them for you. Like I just teach agents how to mm-hmm. run them themselves. But mm-hmm. you, normally the daily budget is around five bucks a day. So. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's not like you're spending thousands on advertising. Like you would spend literally a couple hundred maybe for the month. But, but again, the whole focus of all this is the attention. How do we get the attention of that area? This, this property is in, is in, actually, I don't even know where it's at, but. Ruskin, Florida. Ruskin, Ruskin. So again, what Krista should be doing is running a, and maybe she is, but in this case, she's not. And that's what everybody is doing. They just post it and ain't no one seen it in Ruskin. So a Facebook ad targeting Ruskin would have made her sell that property sooner than later. And, and again, when I, when I click on it, that makes sense. I'm coming to a page where I'm capturing the lead because that person might be interested in that, in that listing and they may not. That person may inquire, but the next day it, go, it goes under contract. So at least I actually captured a lead of an interested person that happens to live three miles away from me. Then I can show them future listings. Right. You know what I mean? So that's why even though yeah. you're focused on referrals and word of mouth, I'm, that's, I'm talking your area. Like over here on social media, you don't know who the hell's hitting you up. Everybody's you know, from a different area. But if we focused on just mm-hmm. targeting your area, then at least there, there, there's just more comfort there and more security there. At least it's, it's people that live, you know, in your neighborhood, you know what I mean? It, and even referrals with you, if, if that's your whole approach and, and, and way you do business, that's, that's fine. But how much more powerful is it is, how much more powerful would it be if your face or if your image or if your video was in the newsfeed in your local area throughout the month, mm-hmm. And as people start to refer, hey, I saw her in my newsfeed, and 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 it's your it's it's your it's your it's your cousin's girlfriend, and and it's a referral, 
but she's been seeing you in her news feed. She ain't friends with you on Facebook. Mm-hmm. She, she don't like your business page, but she's been seeing you in her news feed because you're running an ad targeting your area. That makes sense. You know what I mean? So I, I tell people all the time, like, are you married? No. Okay. L- you got a boyfriend or anything? Mm, it depends on what day you ask. <laughs> <laughs> the, only reason, the only reason why I'm no, asking. we're good. <laughs> the only reason why I'm asking is because if you had a man or, or or even a chick, whatever you do, it's all good. If you had a partner and you and your partner went out to dinner tonight, okay? If if you guys went out to dinner tonight, here's here's keeping it real as far as the cost of what this all takes. You guys would spend more at dinner tonight than what it would take to run an ad targeting your local area for the entire week. So to get my face in front of people who, where I close deals, it's, it's almost a joke on how much it costs. So it's either right. that, it's either that, or we just keep posting everywhere and crossing our fingers that someone in Ruskin sees the property. That's a, that's crazy. Like I, there's no way I'm gonna build a business that way. You know what I mean? Like, sense. I'm yeah. going to be holding my breath forever. If everyone that's following me and seeing this lives in a completely different area. That is not targeted one bit. So that I, I wrote a whole book about this, you know, because again, following thousands of agents, I, I, I started seeing patterns and, and habits and what everybody's doing and everybody's doing the same damn thing. And so I ended up writing a book about it in 2018 and, and it's called The Social Real Estate Agent, Five Steps to Implement mm-hmm. on Social Media to Capture More Leads and Build Your Personal Brand Fast. So it's just five basic steps, five steps. And, and, and so Facebook ads targeting your local area is what I call step, step three. And then step four is taking them to a landing page. And then step five is capturing the lead and having an email autoresponder automatically send emails out to these people on your behalf. And so when you, when you take a step back and you look at step three, the Facebook ad is running 24-7 while you're chilling with your family. They're clicking on the landing page, entering their name and email while you're at lunch. These emails are going out to these leads and nurturing the list while you're sleeping. That's how you automate your business. That's how you run Facebook ads. That's how you automate the entire thing is is by running ads to your area. Because if it ain't that, then you're going to be over here. You're going to catch yourself on social media, trying to post on this, trying to post on Instagram, trying to post on LinkedIn, just to try to keep up with the Joneses when again, ain't no one caring. 99% 99% of your mm-hmm. connections live across the country. So the way to really leverage it is to, is to, is to simply take these posts and run them as ads so they constantly get exposure while you're out doing what you do. That's leveraging advertising. And I'm just saying, you know, when you compare it to what, what we actually make per deal, it's a joke on what this actually takes as far as the cost. You know, it's, it's just a joke. It's a, it's, it's a joke on how cheap it really is. Um, so that's kind of what I wanted to share with you. And then there's, I mean, that's, there's five steps. That's step three, Facebook ads, step four, the landing page, and then step five, email automation. But then there's step one and two that are super basic. And that's what everybody misses. Um, but again, that's kind of more for, for people that are really trying to build a social media brand. You know what I mean? If you're not really trying to build mm-hmm. social media, then it might not even be for you. But at least, at least I gave well, you, I mean, you hear so many. What's that? Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. I mean, you hear so many things. Again, I mean, it just it depends on the person. It's like uh, when I initially got into real estate, it was like this was nothing. Mm-hmm. Like I saw the value. I got into real estate in twenty. I mean, uh, two thousand. Mm-hmm. And like I saw where it was going. But it's like over the last, what, uh, I don't know, 10 years, like I haven't kept up with everything that's going on. So like, I feel yeah. lost. Like, I feel like one of the agents probably that felt the way, I feel like maybe the agents that felt when I got started in 2000 with computers, like they were so used to doing it one way. Mm-hmm. And it's like 20 years later, mm-hmm. it's like, you know, we have younger agents in the office that are like very tech savvy and stuff. And it's like, I don't feel like I'm there. Like I'll do a video here or there, 
but as far as like what you're talking about creating an ad and doing this back page and this that, and the other i'm kind of lost yeah so mm-hmm that's it's where that's that. where obviously you probably need a little bit more help on the technical side, right? But as far as just the overall concept, you know that that's just what I want you want you kind of thinking is is just if you got a listing instead of posting it here, run it as an ad. That that that's 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 just that's just as as simple as it as it gets. And I'm here to tell you, looking at thousands and thousands of agents, ain't nobody really doing that. You know, number one, they maybe not know how, and then number two, they probably mm-hmm. think it costs a lot of money when it when it actually mm-hmm. doesn't. You know, like I mean, if I had this listing, I mean, this listing is listed at two seventeen. How can I not put at least a couple hundred bucks into marketing to get the attention and exposure of my local area? Right, right. like like that. I mean. I'm going to have to market it somehow like this listing, like the person that's hiring me to list it. That's going to be one of the criteria. David, what are you going to do to market my property? It's like, I got to, yeah, I'm going to have to do right something. <laughs> right. Like, right. I got uh, one. Coming. What's that? I said, I actually got one coming that I need to, um, run an ad on. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run an ad on and get new pictures and everything. So yeah, um, I'm definitely gonna have to run an ad on that because it's an investor and he's mm-hmm. had it longer than six months and he wants to get it moved. So yeah, um, for sure. And and here I, I might as well take the next maybe four minutes just to just to show you step one and two real quick. Here, okay. So so what we talked about and I'll just say one and two in closing because that's really all I got for you. What we really covered was step three, running that as an ad, and then step mm-hmm. four, taking them to a landing page to capture the lead. Because the reason why a landing page is so important is because if you don't take me to a landing page and you don't capture the lead, then you have to be on your Facebook all day micromanaging these comments that are coming in. And, and the majority of these comments that are going to be coming in are going to live across the country. So, mm. so, so I, don't, I ain't got time for that. Like I ain't got time to just check my Facebook all day. But but I can I can I can I can spend time on leads that are actually coming in, that's different, right? So so I don't mm-hmm. want to just post it and just depend on people commenting because that's what she's doing. That's all she's doing. That's the only thing that she has here is that I'm gonna comment, and then she'll hit me up. Hey David, I noticed you comment on my post. Hey, are you in the area? No, I'm actually in San Diego. So you would have to micromanage it if it wasn't that landing page to capture the lead, and that's step four. And then. Oh. Go ahead. I guess I'm with once I create the pad, once I create the ad, mm-hmm. does it automatically link to a landing page? I don't, that's the no. disconnection for me. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, yes, yes. Well, you have to have the landing page first. So, for like, for example, this one that I showed you, this right here is a simple landing page. Now, th- now, then you'll need software. So landing pages are only for, for, for agents that, have, that, that run, run Facebook ads. If they're not running Facebook ads, there's no need for landing pages because okay. this, this whole landing page software is about 100 bucks a month. So yeah. it, it, you're, you can create as many landing pages, like, I, like listings, um, like open houses. Like if we had an open house coming up this weekend, I would be running an ad targeting my local area. Let's say it's Tuesday. I'd be running an ad Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then we have this open house coming up this weekend. I'd be running an ad, and this is the page I would take them to. This is the button they would click on. That's the lead I would capture. But so, but but it it all comes from running the ad. So to answer your question, this mm-hmm. link right here at the top, yes, when you set up the ad, that link is what connects to the to the ad. So okay. for for example, here's here's the news feed. Like if you're just scrolling through the news feed, whether you're on your cell phone, whether you're on a computer and you're looking at Facebook and you're just scrolling through, seeing what your friends are up to, and all of a sudden you come across a sponsored post, this is mm-hmm. an ad. So okay. there's the learn more That's button. That. So people would see your video, they would see your image, there's your text, and then they would click on this learn more. When they click on learn more, they're coming to a page like this. Okay. So yeah, so the link, this is the URL. This is what you would connect to the page for, or to the post, I should say, to the ad. And that's all done through the ads manager back here. 
but see that that yeah so that that's the technical side of it all but before you even get there before you even get there here here's just basic steps here's here's what i would leave you with okay when it just comes to overall social media branding because in real estate branding is everything your name, your license number, your even maybe your website address, your overall branding. Maybe maybe most agents have some type of logo. Some most are trying to build their brand somehow, some way. It's branding, and it, and and we know the importance of it offline. Like if you if I met you at the store, you're gonna hand me a business card, and that business card is gonna look pretty professional. It's your branding mm-hmm. on social media. It's now called social media branding. So as I look at thousands and thousands of real estate agent pages, when we come to the page, this intro on the personal page is the first impression because I don't know Jessica yet. So I come to her page. We just become friends. We're now connecting on Facebook. This is the first impression. I can obviously look at the image. I can tell you're a cool lady. I can tell you're a professional real estate agent. She knows her thing, but the intro is going to give me information because you're building a business. So there's information mm-hmm. in that intro that needs to be there. And I'm telling you right now, looking at thousands, 99.99% missed this basic step, which is step one. So this is step one and it's this intro. So when I come here, this is what you're showing me. Works at Better Homes and it's that link right there. And then you got former, studied, went, goes, and, and joined. Mm-hmm. Let me show you an example of my friend Candy. Um, she's a real estate agent. She's across the country. She's with another company, but here's the difference. I come across Jessica's and this is what I see. I come across Candy's, and this is what I see. So what you're doing is you're sending all the attention and all the, all the traffic, your 1200 friends, you're sending them all to this link Majority of those 1,200 people are normal people who are not in the industry, unless you're recruiting other agents, and those are 1,200 real estate agents. But if you're not recruiting agents, most likely 1,000 out of your 1,200 friends are normal working class people, meaning they're not in the business. They're not lenders. They're not title reps. They're not escrow officers. And so with that being said, I was going to tell you. Probably of that, half of them are real estate agents. Okay. So this is the last link we care to drive anybody to because we're going to click on that link because you're showing it. It's the first link you're showing and you're sending us to this page. And whenever we like this page, it does you no good. Okay. So we don't want to show this link, even though that's where you work. We want to send them to your business page, not your broker's. So again, with Candy, I come to her page and there's the link to her business page. So all the attention goes there. It's not going to former. It's not going to anything else. It's going to her business page. That's the first impression. And so as I scroll down, went, lives, from, married. Now that we're in this social media world, she's showing me her Instagram, her Twitter, her Pinterest, her LinkedIn, her website address. And so for someone like you who is not exactly social media savvy or tech savvy or whatever the heck you want to call it, here's, here's, Mm -hmm. here's all you need to know as a business owner, as you are billions of people are on these five Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Now you don't have to be a social media butterfly and posting all the time on all these platforms as a business owner, you just need to have them active. You need to have them active. Mm. You need to have them listed. And if you look closely, every single one of them is matching. That Um. is social media branding. So as I come here, I don't know Candy no more than I know Jessica. But when I come here, Candy's showing me a little bit more. And, and, And just because Jessica and David connected on Facebook, how do you know that David doesn't spend 57 hours a day on LinkedIn? Had I seen your link, I would have clicked on it. I would have followed you on LinkedIn. And if I saw some listing and if I was more comfortable messaging on LinkedIn, I would have messaged you there and you better hope you get that message. So that's basic branding. And again, again, looking at thousands of agents pages, that's what I called step one. I'm like, wait a minute. Everyone's trying to promote their listing. Everyone's trying to market their open house. Everybody's trying to look for a lead Because let's keep it real. Mm. The only reason why you're even here is to look for that next buyer and seller. 
if it wasn't for that, you'd probably, you probably wouldn't even be here. (laughs) So, so because we're on social media looking for that next lead, that's what I call step three, but we got to back up a little bit. Let's, let's at least cross the T's and dot the I's. And that's what I call basic. That's step one is just stepping up your branding and and letting people know, Hey man, I'm not just on Facebook. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Pinterest. You, and, and, and I'm not under, I'm not on these platforms under multiple different names. I got one name. <laughs> so if you, if you search my one name, you're going to find me. Mm-hmm. And, and, and so that's what I'm saying. This is what everyone's looks like. I'm, you know, looking at candies, it, it just looks a little better. Yeah, that, that's basic. No, it definitely does. You know what I mean? But then that's the other thing is like, all my names are different. <laughs> we got to change them. We got, we got to change them. That, that's, that's my point. We got to change them. Wow. We got to change them. They all got to match. And, and, and whatever, whatever website you got, keep the website. But rather than promoting the link that your broker probably gives you with that website, you want to customize mm-hmm. and get your own .com. You want to get your own link. Oh, so I just, do. Okay, perfect. So well, whatever dot com you I have, I have it pointed to my own. Yeah. Well, perfect. So then, what is? Let me let me go back to it, Jessica. So whatever whatever that link is, um, whatever that domain is, maybe use that to match with all your other platforms, because once we get them all listed on the personal page, that's step one. We also want to bring them over here to the about section on our business page and get all those links listed over here. So right here, this is perfect. JessicaDillsJacks.com. That is perfect. Mm -hmm. Change every single, but here's the deal. This Facebook page, you put it, you customize the username under JW Sells Jacks. Mm -hmm. We want want one. We're, We're already mix matching. Yeah, that's what I said. That needs to match. <laughs> that needs to match. And so choose one. If you already have the dot com, go with the dot com mm-hmm. and just and just create Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, and 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 that and that would be it. And and so as people click on about, because that's what they're gonna do. If you ever do start and, and this is step one. Step three is is the local Facebook ads. If you ever do get to that part, let's say you never even get to that part, but if you ever do get to that part, people are gonna click on your page. They're going to click on about because they never seen you on Facebook before. They ain't friends with you on Facebook. They don't like your business page. You're running an ad to a cold market <laughs> and, and they're going to click on about. So we just want to have everything listed right there. So if mm-hmm. I click on candies, like if I come to her business page over here and I click about, this is what I see. So everything again is just matching hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties. Wow. Yeah. It's basic, right? It's basic, but that's branding that stands out to the consumer's eye and it just looks a little better. That's step yeah, one. Definitely. That's step one. Everyone by the thousands looks like, looks like this. And, and it's just, it's just, there ain't nothing there. Now, now the about is there and that's cool. Your story, that's all good. But here's the reality. People don't care about that. They're going to follow you on social media before they ever pick up the phone and call you or before they, or before they ever care about a story or a bio. They're going to follow you on IG. They're going to follow you on LinkedIn. And I just want to have that link there when they do. Okay. You know what I mean? So, so that's yeah. step one. Here's step two, and then that's all I got for you. Here's, again, my, my Facebook page. So if I come back to my page, those are all my friends right there. These are my notifications. So just like you, if I click like or if I start commenting on any of your stuff, you get a notification. Because I have thousands and thousands of agents, every one of them is an agent. Here are my notifications. And here's how we got here. Monica, Aaron, Kristen, Ingrid, Dana, Lynette. I can go on for days. Every single one of my friends is a real estate agent. Every single one of my notifications all day, every day is an, is an invite to like the business page. And whenever I go to any real estate agent's business page, the most I will ever see is that many. That's the most. So most 99% of agents are around 200 to 300 likes. That's where you're at. Now, just like the personal page, this intro is the first impression. When I come to the business page, this like count is the first impression. So I'm going to come here. And again, every agent has a couple hundred likes. I come here to Jessica's page. I don't know Jessica. 
I, I, I don't even know she's the top producer. I don't know she's been in real estate forever. I don't know she's number one in the state. I don't know any of that because I don't know her. Your 1,200 friends, they don't know you. So they judge us on that number. So when I come to Jessica's, I see 211. When I come to Candy's page, I see 3,500. Wow. You see that? Look at that. And, and mm -hmm. that wasn't just a word wow that came out of your mouth. There was actually some emotion in that. You said, you were like, damn, right? Like you were like, mm -hmm. wow, there was emotion behind that. That's, that. that's perception. And you don't even know Candy. I don't even know Candy. For all we know, she just got licensed and having him closed her first escrow for all we know. We don't know her. But we look at 3,500 thinking that she's the queen of real estate. That's right. step two. So before you start running ads, which is again, what I call step three, this is step two. Every agent in the, in the country has a couple hundred. All you want is a couple thousand. Take that 200 to 2000 and call it a day. Like that's a one-time ad. That's not an ad you run every month. That, that could be a one-time Facebook ad where, where that number just goes from 200 to 2000 in the next few days. And at least now our page and our brand looks good. Step one, all of our links are listed and everyone is matching. Step two, we got 2,100 likes compared to every other agent in your state who has 200. And if you wanted to stop right there, you could stop right there. As long, and, and, and at least when, when these referrals and, and, and your cousin's cousin's friend starts to hit you up and want to do business and then they connect with you on Facebook because that's what's going to happen. I don't care if it's a referral or someone you just meet cold at the grocery store. They're going to connect with you on Facebook. And so, again, if, if those basic steps are there, at least your brand looks good and, and you haven't even got to step three yet. You know what I mean? Mm. So step one, listing all those links, and step two, mm -hmm. running that like ad is, is, is what you should do. You should have done that yesterday. You know what I mean? That, that's, like, that's, that's what you want to do as soon as possible. That's where your next dollar should go is running a Facebook ad to take this like count up. And then, and then after that, maybe focus on running ads for the listing. But if, but if you don't even get to that part, at least you got a comma in that number and your brand looks good on social media. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so I got to figure out how to change the name. Well, I have a video I can easily send you. I have like a 10 minute video that, that will show you how to, how to customize all the links and, and how to mm -hmm. get everything listed. Like I can easily send that video and then, and then on this ad, I mean, I can easily, I can easily run it for you. I mean, you just pay for the ad. Like you tell me whatever your budget is, like you just pay for the ad. I'll run it for you and mm -hmm. you can give me a good review. And that's kind of, that's kind of what I've done with, with pretty much my last, I don't know how many 50, 60 clients. Like I literally will teach them how to do step one and then I'll run the like ad for them. And then this is my business page over here. They'll come over here and they'll just give me a review. So the last 62 real estate agents have given me a review. Wow. So that's what I kind of, you know, charge is a review. I'll run it. We'll, I'll show you how to do step one. And then, and then later on, if we plan on running Facebook ads, you know, that's step three, then we could talk about that later. I can coach you and start teaching you on that, but that ain't, that ain't right now. Like I would say, mm -hmm. if, you have, <laughs> if you have any budget, like that's where it should go first is increasing the likes just so right. we can get our brand alive. You know what I mean? Okay. So that's good. That sounds fair. Do we have, what's our budget? Like what, what can we put towards that like ad? It doesn't have to be a lot. Like it don't have to be, it's, it's a one time what's, ad. What's the average? What? I mean, what, what most do is for every, most will put like, let's just say five bucks a day, like five bucks a day, they'll run it for a month. So, and that would take, if you ran that for $5 a day for a month, that would take that number up to 1500 likes. And that's all you would really need. Like you don't really need mm -hmm. more than that. Um, now that's, that, that would be, if we ran it for five bucks a day for 30 days, that'd be 150. Like you can either mm -hmm. do, you can either do that or you can do a little less. Like I have a lot of clients that will maybe put a hundred dollars towards that ad and it'll, yeah. it'll, it'll still go up, you know, a thousand likes. So that's fine. it just depends on, on I your can budget. Do the I can do the hundred. Okay, cool. So here's all I need, need to do real quick is now, but you're going to owe me a good review. I'm going to give you a review too, but you're going to give me a, a review for sure. 
Okay, so here's yeah, all I'm going to do. Are you, on, okay. are you on your Facebook? Are you on a computer right now? Or like an iPad or whatever? Yeah, I'm on my iPad. Okay. All I'm going to do is just simply request access to the business page so I can run an ad. That's all I'm going to do. And let me, let me, yeah, that's all I'm going to do. So let me, you, so you're going to get, um, you'll get a notification here in the next few um, seconds. And then I'll just walk you through how to, how to approve. That way I don't have to know your passwords or anything like that. All I'm going to do is just run the ad from your page. And then um, once the ad is over, which will be over within, I don't know, a couple of weeks, like it's not going to take really much longer than that. Like we'll be at 1200 in the next few days. Um, but once we're done, once we hit that number, whatever the number may be, which is, which is about 1200, that's where we'll be. Then you can for sure remove me and, and I, for, you know, I won't have access, but all I can really do is run an ad. So, I mean, that's all I'm going to do. So do me a favor, go to your, go to your business page and I'll, I'll just walk you through this real quick. Do I need to be on a computer? You can, um, you could just hit, can you hit escape on your, um, are you on your computer or are you on an iPad? Right no, now. I'm on my iPad. I don't okay. have Facebook hooked up to my iPad. I know that sounds weird, but no, it's all good. Do you have um? Do you have a? Are you? Can you jump on a computer, or is it too much? No, it's right here. Okay, cool. Just go to go to Facebook from your actual um computer. Okay. And then um, I'll walk you through um connecting me to the page. And then I have, as I mentioned, I have, I have the, the video for you. Like I'll email it to you on, on step one, but if you still have a hard time um, connecting everything, just let me know and I'll, I'll for sure help you with it. Okay. But the video that I, that I made, it should, it should pretty much be self-explanatory because it's pretty simple. Once you open up all the platforms, you just, it takes like literally two seconds to customize all the names and then add them to your pages. And I, I walk you through all that in the, in the actual video. And I just updated the video. I recorded a new one today, so it's actually a new video. And then I'll show you from my page over here. I'll walk you through. Okay, I'm supposed to click on settings. Yep, click on settings right in the top right. And then to the left, you're going to click on page roles. Okay. Okay, cool. And then all you're going to do is scroll down just a bit. And then right here in the middle, you should see inspired digital. And it should say respond to request. Mm -hmm. What's up? I got a snack for you. Yeah. Okay. And Grandpa and me. All right. Give me a second, bro. Uh, it's working on Okay, babe. Thanks. Okay. And then just like mine looks right here, like in a couple of weeks, like once we hit... Cause that, that budget is going to take us for sure above 1200. So once, once we're above 1200 on that like count, then you can just come in here and you can just remove me. Okay. Okay. So give digital access. Yeah. So it should ask for your password and you just grant, grant access. It just says approve request. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay, cool. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to add myself to this page oh, right there. Mm -mm, and then stop. we're good. 
Okay, okay perfect. Uh, and then just just what what card can I use for the ad? I just need a Visa Master or Amex. Okay, hold on. Let okay. me get it. Um oh. hey man, go downstairs. I'll be down in a minute. Go. Just check on the stairs now. Okay. Right now. Uh, yeah. um, awesome. You said, you said, <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, cool. I'm ready. Awesome. Will it use a gift card? Do you know a Visa gift card? Um, yeah, for sure. As long as as long as there's a a balance on there, like a hundred bucks, for example, on this. Yeah. One. Yeah, for sure. hundred bucks. On there. Is there a three digit code on the back? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it should. It should. What it does ask for is a billing address. So maybe we can. I don't know if it's tied to a billing address, but we can for sure try. Okay. Okay, Corman. Yeah. Four oh four.